From Pasadena, California, Maranatha High School presents the Summer Block Party Basketball Tournament as the Campbell Hall Vikings take on the Chino Hills Huskies in the third place game right here on Time Warner Cable. And hello everybody, Rob Render with our resident head coach Ernest Baskerville and also Paul Westfall to my far left. Looking forward to the third place game in the Maranatha tournament as Chino Hills takes on Campbell Hall. These are two very athletic but very young teams and Ernest with Campbell Hall, a disappointing record to finish the season, but they made a run in the CIS, so a lot to look forward to for next year. You're absolutely right, Rob. We're looking at a very young team with Campbell Hall. They took a tough loss yesterday against Loyola, but you know what, with, with the youth that you're talking about, you get energy and this is one of the most energetic teams you'll see in a long time. And Paul, for Chino Hills High School, a league championship last year at 10-0, despite the fact that they're very young. Well, this is a team that's used to success. Defensively, they have very active hands. They deflect a lot of passes. That gets them into their transition game. And then offensively in the half court, they stress movement without the basketball. Rob, this Chino Hills team stresses team play and balanced scoring. There are going to be a lot of very talented players on display this afternoon. One of them is the point guard, Aaron Holiday for Campbell Hall. Aaron Holiday comes from a great lineage of basketball. There's no one with a better basketball pedigree than him. He's had three siblings that have played Pac-12 basketball, and one that everyone knows is Drew Holiday, who currently plays for the Philadelphia 76ers. But the one thing about Drew, uh, Aaron Holiday, he is amazing to watch. He's going to be very difficult for Chino Hills to stop today. And Paul for Chino Hills, their forward Bishop Mency is awfully tough to guard. Oh, very smooth player, the 6'5 senior, four years at the varsity level. He can shoot the three ball, but he'll also take you off the bounce and finish at the rim. He's an outstanding defensive player as well. We're going to have a lot of fun watching Bishop Mency here today. There will be so much talent on the floor that I think all of us are looking forward to the athletic plays that we're going to see. It's the Maranatha third place game. A beautiful look at Maranatha High, Chino Hills, and Campbell Hall coming up next. Welcome back to Maranatha High School in Pasadena, California, as we get ready for the third place game in the Maranatha Summer Basketball Tournament. They call it the Summer Block Party. Rob Render with Ernest Baskerville and Paul Westfall. These two teams with very opposite roads during the regular year, and we'll take a look at that as our game progresses. First, the starting lineups for this afternoon's contest for Campbell Hall. You see Holiday number 75 on the board. Of course, that's not his regular season number, but Aaron is quite a player at six foot 170 pounds. His brother, Drew, currently in the NBA with the 76ers. And on the Chino Hills side, Bishop Mency, their senior forward at six foot five can really be an impact player on the inside. Good slasher, excellent wing player with a ton of potential. You take a look at the head coach for Campbell Hall and Thomas Blunt wearing the blue shirt today. His team this year out of the Alpha League 16 and 12, they were four and eight in league play. A bit of a disappointment considering how talented they were. For Chino Hill, Steve Balk in his first year at the helm, 24 and 5 overall, 10 and 0 winners of the Sierra League. However, they struggled to uh, compete in the CIF tournament, losing in the second round. So a lot to build on, not only for Chino Hills, a team that was victorious in their league, but also for the uh, Alpha League team in Campbell Hall. And Ernest, we talked a little bit about Campbell Hall's best player and Aaron Holiday during the Open, but it's a roster that's really top to bottom, very talented. And let, let's look a little bit specifically at Khalil Simplis. Well, Khalil Simplis is an amazing individual. A lot of people really don't know about him because he's under the radar. When, when you play with a guy like Aaron Holiday who garners all this attention, it's tough to get attention on your own. But Khalil uh, Simplis is a, a great penetrating point guard. He loves to dribble and penetrate and kick out. And uh, he has a lot of well-around game. He also comes from a good pedigree of his mom played basketball and his dad. And Paul for uh, Chino Hills, a team that is going to go without their best player during the regular season this past year today. That's Lonzo Ball. He and his brother both will be inactive this afternoon. So they're going with a very short roster, very small bench, which is typical sometimes in summer league play. But again, it's a team that has some youth has some athleticism and a lot to build on for their next season. Oh, they've got a lot of athleticism. Watch in the paint as they challenge nearly every shot that comes into the paint. They've got some leapers. Chaz Smith, number 11, 6'6", six, six, sophomore, can really get up. And then an intriguing prospect in number 17, Namni Okongwu, 6'8", junior, and he can really play at the defensive end. Offensively, he's still learning, but the defensive end, he's special. 
A timeout for us when we come back. The opening tip from this afternoon's contest right after this. Both teams, as you can see, have taken the floor. Campbell Hall wearing the white tops, or maybe gray, depending on how your eyes see these days. In my older age, that looks white to me in the blue bottoms. Gino Hills in the dark blue tops with the neon green. And we are underway, the third place game in the Maranatha Summer Basketball Tournament, one of the many summer tournaments that goes on in the LA Basin throughout the summer. Really good chance to take a look at some of the best talent in the area as far as high school basketball goes. And a lob pass down low to Chad Smith. And he converts on an early deuce for Chino Hills. Chino Hills, the champs of the Sierra League. And uh, there's certainly a lot of talent on their roster, but it's tough, Ernest, when you're playing with only seven guys. Hey, that is a tough thing, especially with the fact that Campbell Hall likes to speed the game up. So I would really like to see around the third, fourth quarter when the game is, uh, the speed has been picked up to see how they're able to do with just seven guys. That was simplest on the miss for Campbell Hall and a jump shot for Chaz Smith at the other end. He is two for two. Well, you're seeing the athleticism as Holiday lets one fly from deep. But Chaz Smith at 6'6", really fluid movement, runs the floor really well and showed a nice little mid-range baseline jumper on the last possession. Justin Redwood passes to Bishop Mency, trying to show the outside game as he hoists a three, but comes up empty. The point guard today for Chino Hills, at least the starting guard, is Justice Redwood. He's a 5'10 senior. See him out there wearing the number six, and he has quite a responsibility on his hand, guarding Simplis in the early going, who's got at least three or four inches of height advantage on him. Now Holiday on the drive, the left-handed shot rolls off the iron, out of bounds, and it will stay right here. These two teams each lost their games yesterday. That's why they're participating in the third place contest. There's Holiday going all the way to the rim with a strong driver. And it's like I mentioned earlier, it's going to be very difficult to stop him going to the basket. But th there's that transition, transition back down the court for easy layup from Gino. Yeah, Chaz Smith again, three for three. Is that going to be an and one? Yes, it is. And one for Simplis, Khalil Simplis, just a junior and a kid, obviously, with a ton of talent. It's amazing when you look at Campbell Hall's roster that they can be this young and yet this skilled, Simplis and Holiday specifically, just going in their junior years. Well, like I say all the time, high school basketball is one with guards, and they have one of the best guard tandems in, the, in Southern California. Question about that. Now, the, I guess, big question for Campbell Hall going to next year in the Alpha League. There's a lot of talented guards in that <laughs> league to compete with, and uh, can they do it on a game-by-game -game basis? As Cyprian lights up the twine, draining a triple. He has a very quick release, and if you don't get out on him, if you don't close out on him, he will launch that three ball. I saw him uh, make a couple last night. Gets rid of it in a hurry. Holiday with the acrobatic runner fading to his right. Not everybody can try shots with both hands, and he's already done that in the early going here in the first half. Our game, by the way, is two halves today. Both 16 minutes. Each team gets 130 and one full timeout. There is a shot clock, which you can see rolling over the top of the baskets. Kongwu backing in at the post and uses the right-handed half hook. That's Namdi Akangwu. He's a junior listed at six foot eight inches tall. He is a real big body in the middle. Well, you can see the footwork is still a little bit uh, primitive, but obviously that athleticism shows he just rose up above the defense and made a nice little baby hook. Simplest made that jump shot for Campbell Hall. It's 11-9. And we will have a jump ball, possession arrow, pointing to Campbell Hall as you look at that last shot from Simplis. Well, Simplis got off a nice mid-range jumper at the elbow. Uh, nice strength. It, was able, it looked like contact for a foul, but they didn't call it, but it went in. Chino Hills, the designated visiting team for this game, by the way. That's why they're wearing the dark jerseys. Simplis with a pull-up three, a little bit too strong. Offensive rebound. And a reset. Holiday not going to waste any time, but he misses badly. 
And a pretty good box out for Okongwu. I know, Paul, you like Okongwu quite oh, a bit. Oh, yeah. Let me have this young man. I'm sure that, <laughs> that Ernest feels the same. Let me have him for four years and see what I can create because the athleticism is obvious. And uh, he's still learning on the offensive end. But, oh, that's an exciting prospect. It's nothing like having a big man, especially one that's young. And can run and jump and, oh, my. <laughs> At the free throw line, Bishop Mency. He was fouled on that previous play by Cooper Conran, wearing the number 70 today for Campbell Hall. Mency, a very talented young player, no question about that. Knocks down the free throw, makes it a 12-9 game. Mency averaged 14 and a half points per game this past year, which was tops on the team, barely ahead of the true freshman Lonzo Ball. Here's Holiday putting it on the ground again and going all the way to the basket with relative ease. He is just so fast. Well, one of the things, he loves to get to the basket, and that's the way he got a lot of his points last year, by getting fouled and going to the free throw line. We'll, I guarantee you we'll see him go tonight or at least ten times. Very close game in the early going. A little bit over four minutes in. Trying to lob the ball into the block. That's probably a good idea. And Smith makes it count with the turnaround jump shot. So two good post players that we've seen in the early going is a transition three that goes off the front side, saved from going out of bounds, but stepping uh, on the end line was Cooper Conrad, so it goes back over to Chino Hills. It's obvious that Chino Hills, with this limited roster, is going to look to pound the middle. They've done it early on quite a bit. Well, and, and I always like big-to-big -big passing. When you get a, a big man established at the free throw line and he can dump it down to another big who at, can finish at the rim, uh, obviously, Chaz Smith off to a, a really nice start. I think he's got eight early points. He does on four out of four from the field. A Kongwu shot is blocked, but they call a foul. Block on Colin Bell. And we'll take another look at it. Oh, very close, may have gotten the hand on the hip, Ernest. Yeah, a little close. Yeah, that little uh, extra on the hip probably might have been the reason he got the foul. But sometimes as a ref, you got to let some of those things go. Nandi Kongwu only averaged 10 minutes this year. That's per game, so he didn't play a ton. And two points, very raw player, as Paul has said. Rob, I'll tell you this, though. 6'7 six, seven is 6'7. Six, seven. We're all <laughs> skilled. <laughs> I like it. The kind of player you wouldn't mind having on your roster, then, you're saying. Not at all. Here's Holiday for three. No, sir, yet again. He's 0 for 2, shooting from long distance. That's the one part of his game people are saying if he can improve that, he'd be unstoppable, is his outside shot. Bishop Menchie on the drive. Makes it count. The timeout will be taken by Campbell Hall. Excellent take to the basket by Bishop Menchie, making us look good for featuring him during our pregame show today as you look at the back there of Aaron Holiday. Look at that dribble drive. That was a nice, strong move with a nice finish. Now, you were talking about Holiday and his struggles from the outside. He, of course, comes from a basketball family. We've already mentioned his brother, Drew Holiday, who plays uh, in the NBA with the 76ers and went to UCLA. He also struggled with his jump shot, but it's something that you can overcome, I guess, eventually with a lot of work. Yeah, he, he spends a lot of time in the gym. I know when he was at UCLA, he, he uh, worked on his shot. His brother, uh, Justin, who played yes. at the University of Washington, worked yes. on his shot as well. I mean, the, 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 the younger, the, the sister went to UCLA. I mean, this, this family is a Pac-12 pedigree family. And uh, <laughs> I'm sure that um, once Aaron learns to get his shot together, he's going to be amazing. He's already amazing. I mean, you can't stop him. Yeah. He scores 30, 40 points a game on any given night. Well, exactly right. And of course, at the next level, he'll be playing against people who are as athletic, and so you'll have to be able to shoot the ball from the perimeter some. But but uh, Justin found his way to the 76ers this year as well. Played in nine games for Philadelphia, so uh, family got to be very happy with the way everything's transpired. That was Holiday on the miss yet again. Campbell Hall's now started four out of 13 from the field. And that's one of the main reasons they trail by six. Meanwhile, Chino Hills, a very efficient seven out of eight. Justin Redwood with the isolation. And now the long distance jump shot from a Kongwu, no sir. Oh, but if he learns to make those, watch out. <laughs> Holiday pushing the tempo yet again, and a jump ball, and I think that's the right call. 
Nathan Bond, one of our two officials today, in on the action. And you can see guiding his hand on it. Very nicely. Good defense by Gino Hills. Yeah, it kind of looked like a block, and uh, Holiday let it go. But, you know, in the, the rest perspective was a jump ball, and then let's respect that. Here's Cyprian, and they're going to call an illegal screen. Andy Akangwu setting it. He can't believe it. Maybe that was a makeup call for the uh, yeah. jump ball a second ago. Because I'm not so sure he did anything wrong there, but a bit of a flop uh, when the player falls as hard to the to the floor as Simplis did that time. Sometimes I think the referees are influenced by that because it looked like he had both of his feet done. Uh, talking about Namdi there as far as setting that screen. If this was the NBA, that would have been a fine. <laughs> Officials are going to call an offensive foul on Simplis for pushing off on his drive. One of the things that's pretty noticeable in the early going is that Simplis and Holiday, specifically those two, really like to push the action offensively and sometimes a little bit too much. Well, you know what? They like to get out and run. And uh, those guys take the majority of the shots because they're the primary players. Uh, we played them last year uh, during our season, and those guys are both uh, – Pretty, pretty good guys. And you'll see that tonight. I think by the end of the day today, you'll see how good Holiday and Simplest both are. That jumper is off the iron. Pretty good rebound for Campbell Halls, Cooper, and Conrad. The outlet and a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for Holiday who exploits it, lays it home for a pair, and he'll go to the line to try to complete the conventional three-point play. There you can see Holiday slash into the basket, what he does very well. He's used the basket as, as protection, gets the lab, gets the foul. He's like a bull in Spain running downhill. <laughs> I like I mean, that. It's very difficult to stop. Well, and he's so good with either hand. And so you, when he's got you one-on-one -on -one like that with open space, forget about it. He's getting to the rim. You know what? Drew was exactly the same way. He could handle the ball and finish with both hands. Here's Cyprian again from long distance. Two out of two from downtown. So they were working on the inside. Now they're hitting it from the outside. I believe what they're about. Only missed about three or four shots. And you got to get out there on KC. They've, they've given him space twice now, and with that quick release, he'll finish it. Holiday with a fadeaway this time. No good. He's stuck on six points, an offensive rebound. Leads to Cohen getting into the paint. Now Holiday trying to back in game. Chino Hills double teaming. Sweeping across the lane. Nice right-handed hook shot from Colin Bell. Well Colin, we seen that? well, Colin Bell was their transfer from Santa Monica High School. He came into school last year. He was able, eligible to play starting in January, and he was a big reason of why they had a nice little run at the end of the season. And that's after Bell had to sit out the uh, mandatory 30 days, correct? Yes. That miss from Blake Colquitt for Gino Hills, and then a foul called on the subsequent rebound. And it'll be Campbell Hall basketball, trailing it by five with 8.22 to go in our first half. If you're just joining us, welcome aboard. Rob Render alongside Ernest Baskerville and Paul Westfall. We're in Pasadena, California at Maranatha High School. A deep three out of the far corner, and it's good. It's Cohen from downtown, Jordan Cohen, the sophomore. Listed at 5'10", 160 pounds, but boy, can he ever light it up. You know, he has two older brothers that are lighting it up on the Division III level, so he's, he, he has that little pedigree as well. But that was that penetrating kick we talked about before the game started. Namdi Akangu called for traveling as you see the penetrating kick from Simplis. Yeah, nice job drawing the defense along the baseline, and I saw Cohen make a number of standstill threes last night. Looks like the kind of player that is a good release for that, that drive and kick, and that was pretty. He's going to try it again, this time near the top of the key, but it rolls off the iron. Shortest man on the floor, Justin Redwood on that rebound. Here's Cyprian. He knows he can shoot it from that range. This time comes up empty, his first miss. And Campbell Hall going to get out and run again. The spin move. Cyprian, tough shot, and he was fouled. So that's a time where the aggressive take will get him rewarded. A couple of free throws. Yeah, that, you know, they do a lot of that. Simplest and Holiday go to the basket hard, look for that contact to get to the free throw line. But we're going back to what we talked about. If you're watching, uh, Campbell Hall is substituting, using the advantage of having more players than, than um, Chino Hills. So let's see if this starts to wear them down a little bit. And defensively, if you're Chino Hills, you've got to make a decision to stop 
Simplice and Holiday about 15 to 18 feet from the basket. If you wait until to decide to challenge the bounce when they get six, eight feet from the hoop, the worst that's going to happen is they're going to get two free throws, and you know, I mean, or the best that's going to happen, they also might get a three-point play out of it because they're very good at absorbing contact. Timeout taken by Chino Hills head coach Steve Balk after that last missed free throw. He also got Damon Sullivan into the game, a senior guard at 5'10", right before the timeout was taken. So as we look at things with 7.24 to go in our first period, Chino Hills still ahead. They've led for our entire first half, it seems, at 20 to 18 now. The lead, however, is slipping away moment by moment as Campbell Hall starts to get their guards more involved. And, knocking down a couple of outside shots. Meanwhile, for the Huskies, they've gotten away from going into the paint as much as they were early on, and that was very successful for them. Well, they got some easy baskets in transition early on. They're not getting those now, but I would be a little bit more worried defensively. Campbell Hall got five points in contribution on the, the, the nice little running hook by Bell, and then Cohen hit the three ball from the corner. I think any points that they get from their complimentary players is, is sort of gravy for the Vikings, because I would have to think 75% of their points this year are gonna come from the big two, Simplis and Holiday. And they do go into the post, and a near turnover, ball out of bounds, however, off of Campbell Hall. And Chino Hills will keep it. Casey Cyprian set to throw in. They list him as a guard, six foot four inches tall. Colquitt in the post and outside to Sullivan, who has the rock in his hands for the first time today. Now it's Mency. Colquitt with a turnaround jump shot and a beauty right over the top of Cooper Conrad. I like his footwork. I saw him last night create some shots with some nifty footwork going to either shoulder. That time he just caught it, faded away, hit the little mid-range. That was a good looking shot. Cohen's floater is no good, but a nice tip on the follow by Colin Bell, who's very active for a big guy. You know what, Colin does a good job of rebounding. I think the other night he had 17 boards. I don't know if you noticed, Paul, they're doing exactly what you're saying. They're trying to pick up, Chino's trying to pick up Holiday early, and when he lets the ball go, they're kind of face guarding him. Let's see if they try it again this time down. That's the only way you're really going to stop him. That was Cyprian's third three, and on the reverse, a miss for Holiday, who thought he got fouled, complaining a little bit vocally. And a turnover for Chino Hill. It's a bad pass from Sullivan looking for a Kongwu, but when you're going to throw it that hard and the guy's only a foot <laughs> away from you, good luck. <laughs> Don't blame the big man. Exactly. Namdi looking at, at Sullivan like, that was for me? Oh, my goodness. That's a look at uh, Cooper Conrad tossing the ball in for the Campbell Hall Vikings. 16 and 12 overall record this year, and they made a nice little run in the CIFs and also in the state playoffs. As we're gonna have another jump ball, that's an outstanding play. Chaz Smith on the rejection, and a, a wonderful block, I think, with his left hand. He is solid, just a sophomore, but he plays both ends of the court. Three is up from Simplis, and it's off. Three-point shooting has not been very good for either one of these two teams. Campbell Hall's now one for eight. As the jumper at the near baseline, halfway down for Bishop Mency, but out. And Cohen wants to push the tempo almost as fast as the other two cards. Here's Holiday to the rim, and he draws contact. So he attacks the basket so ferocious. <laughs> As we look at this replay here, Holiday goes so strong. And both guys try to stop him, but it's very difficult because look, look how fast and high he gets up into oh. there. And then look at the second rebound. If he would have had the opportunity, he probably would have tipped that in. Exactly. You saw on the replay, nice work in the truck, the elevation, because there were a couple of players that were waiting for him. But when you just soar over above their outstretched arms, they're just going to hit you on the elbow and you're going to get two. And yeah, he has all of the offensive weapons that you'd like as far as taking it to the basket. How is it earnest, and we'll get to this question in just one moment after the possession. Uh, they enter the ball into the post as Chino Hills and Chas Smith drains oh. about a 15 footer. Beautiful oh. shot. Nice move. Yeah. That is unguardable. There's a pull up from Simplis. No, sir, but a foul called and back to the free throw line for Simplis. Look at this move on the turnaround hook. 
Great footwork. Look almost like the Kim Olajuwon. Just a great the little shoulder spin. shimmy. Yes, yes. And then that little baby hook. That's You're not going to stop that. Uh, and Chaz Smith has been the most impressive of the Husky players that I've seen so far in this first half. Ernest, the question I was going to ask you, dealing specifically with Aaron Holiday, you mentioned that he's really good in the open floor and he always gets to the basket. How would you teach your kids defensively to stop something like that or attempt to stop something like that? Well, it goes back to, like I said, what Paul said earlier. You have to get to him early. If you don't put a body on him when the ball is inbound, there's going to be an issue. And then, as well as once he crosses half court, shoot a double team at him, make him give the ball up, and then at that point, face guard him, just stay with him the whole way. You want to deny him the ball as much as possible. That was a, a three-second violation called on Chino Hills. Turns it right back over to Campbell Hall. They can tie with a three, and Holiday wanted to try for it. Lost the ball on the way up, and that is the correct call. They called for traveling. The ball was never touched. And we'll take a look at Holiday playing some defense. Doing a nice job trying to front in the post against a much bigger player in Bishop Menci, who's got at least three or four inches on him. Well, Holiday has a nice body for a kid his age and his size. Cyprian misses the triple. He's already made three of them here in the first half. Holiday, let's see how they pick up ball here. And Holiday slips to the ground. Hope he's all right. Still laying down, slow to get up. Looks to be okay. Not getting back on defense, however, and that leads to a turnaround jump shot from Chad Smith. Kind of that baby hook again, yep. using the window. Using that footwork once again. Caught in the post, showed right, went left, banked it right off the glass. Cohen on the miss three for Campbell Hall. Chino Hills in transition, Cipri into the rim. That was a nice, strong move. It was a very strong move, and he'll get free throws as a result. Get rewarded for hard play. Here he goes, driving to the middle, takes the contact from Bell, still gets it up. He almost got it to bounce in, but he's going to get a chance to get it the old-fashioned way with two shots. Good patience exhibited there. He came down. He had a player on the wing. He could have passed it to about the elbow, but froze his dribble a little bit, little hesitation. The the C parted, <laughs> and and he takes it stronger the the glass with the right hand. I like I like this team. I like these the way that they all have different skill sets. Yet they play really good team basketball. Casey, of course, going to be one of the team leaders, a, a veteran player. To be I, missing I, their best player, they yeah. don't seem to be <laughs> skipping a beat at all. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And that's the case a lot of times, these summer league games, that the best players don't always have an opportunity to come out, participating in other events, possibly related or not related to basketball. It gives you opportunity to step up as the other player. And, and that's what you look to do. As a high school player, you take every opportunity that you can. Shot clock at 15. Here's Holiday trying to wheel around. I thought for a moment he was going to get away with the steps, but Eventually, the call was made, and it turns it right back over to Chino Hills. Well, here's the replay. We get a chance to see Holiday penetrating in, but they get a great job of recovering. He should, probably should have stayed going left. He looked to go right and turn the ball over. Yeah, it looked like he might have predetermined what he was going to do. And then great help from Blake Colquitt, who came in there as the double and forced the travel, uh -oh, but watch out. Go. Here's Holiday <laughs> with a breakaway to the bucket, and he jams it in with two hands, showing off the leaping ability to go with the rest of his complete game. Chino Hills able to break the mile pressure from Campbell Hall. Cyprian trying the finger roll, but it spins off the right side of the iron. And here's Campbell Hall the other way. We've got ourselves a track meet between the legs with the pass, and Holiday comes up empty. That would have been a nice play if Holiday could have finished that. Cooper Conrad got that rebound. That leads to a three from Simplis. Clanks it off the back of the iron. Chino Hills lobbing the ball down low, working it to the middle, and Colquitt makes it count for two. But the play was made by Chaz Smith, who made a really good catch of a difficult lead pass and his ability to keep control of the basketball, and then he finds Colquitt, who just has really creative footwork. He seems to be able to get his shot off in traffic when you think he might not be able to. Holiday again on the drive, taking on two defenders, and they block the shot. The defense for Chino Hills has been very impressive. In transition, Colquitt with the layup. And they're going to count it plus a foul. That was a nice finish. Well, here we get a chance to see that uh, steal by Cohen to get the ball out, put pressure on the ball. We have Holiday coming. He takes off from pretty far with a nice jam, reminisce of his brother Drew. Timeout will be taken by Chino Hills. 
as their lead has grown steadily the last few moments. Now up by nine, 35-26 with 2.11 to go in our opening half. The third place game in the summer block party basketball tournament at Maranatha High School as we get a look into the huddle for Campbell Hall. And you can probably uh, overhear their head coach, Thomas Blunt. We have to get back to transition every single time. Okay, you guys got that? Right, every single time. Next time down on offense, I want Colin in the middle. Okay, Aaron to one side. Rob Render with Paul Westfall, Ernest yeah, Baskerville. Right. Ernest, you could hear what Thomas Blunt, the head coach for Campbell Hall, was saying there. Everybody's got to get back on defense, and that's how you impress your head coach, isn't it? Yes, you do. You want to be you want to be that hustle guy that gets back on defense, but he's expressing that because Chino Hills is running it down their gut every time they get a chance to get a layup. 